Hi, I would like to share with you a poem that I've written uh, you know, some years ago. Um, it's um, based on based on a few people um, who I knew from St. Vincent's Home in Fall River, Massachusetts. Uh, the poem is called uh, David and Wally. <coughs> it's written in 1995. David is the brain, Wally's to go along, together they go looking for trouble. David can fix things like a stereo, Wally can't even fix his own dinner, but both of them have nicotine fits. David knows who he can bum money off of, Wally just sits on his bum, but they always have money than, than I do to go down to Gus's corner store. One night they couldn't wait to get the smokes, they needed. They snuck up as far as Cumberland Farms and took some marbles from the old man. They got back to College Surrey as fast as they can, never giving a thought, but in the end they got caught. They told their tale like heroes to the kids they knew as friends. They took their bad medicine going down straight, but the tale will never end. David was the brain, Wally was to go along, no longer are they together. Now, um, in case in case you're wondering who, who those two people are, um, D David is um, David Hogan. He's um, from um, Province, Rhode Island area. And um, Wally is Walter St. George, who's from the eastern part of um, Massachusetts. I don't, I don't know where exactly um, he comes from. Just um, just from the eastern part of Massachusetts, they um, used used to um, hang out with each other, and um, they would um, they they both they both liked to smoke cigarettes, and um, and as I mean, Dave has a tendency to fix things like his stereo. I mean, I mean he used to play stereo a lot, um, and, and um, he was there in St. Vincent's and, and listened listen to his music all night long. Just, and, as he did didn't use headphones. And so, whatever music you listen to, I never listen to. So, thing about um, going to Cumberland Farms at night, um, that, was, that was basically an incident that happened. I, I don't know when exactly, I think it was 1983 or something. But, um, they basically uh, end up ro robbing a store and for cigarettes and, um, and then getting caught for doing so. But um, those those two would get into trouble a lot. I mean, just um, and just um. They just had, they just had to um, get into get into trouble, and just just for um, getting money off of people, and um, just the same. I mean, the loans that we had um, at St. Vincent's was a dollar a week, which was very pitiful. It, I mean, you could only buy a few things, or you could only play no more than four video games at at, at an um, arcade. And just it was, it was really pathetic. I mean, they would get in trouble for um, for bumming money off people. They would get in trouble for. Um, for stealing, they would get in trouble. 
well, they they do they do a lot of things that um, made made other kids look up to them. It's just like like wow, well, I could be. I wish I could be like those kids. Just, and then eventually, um, two two left the program um, before I did. Just. And I was I was there at St. Vincent's until 1986. Just just something you know, out of my history that I wanted to share um, because you know, that was times that I remember not not necessarily for the best. So, I thought thought you might want to um, enjoy something other than me spelling scripture all the time. Just so, have a good day, and God bless you.